Cadillac 2020 X no wait a minute no not X um, Cadillac CT5 that's what model is this the air conditioning on this the condenser was replaced it was in a front end front end accident and uh, I'm just getting ready to recharge it now so I have a scale it's the Navac and again to anybody's new this is a scale that is accurate within five grams and that's exactly what you need for these little charges on these newer systems uh, I have it down I got it down to 127 microns right now but what do you notice that is kind of odd looking some of you may have seen this on a different vehicle over a long time ago but most of you probably have none look really closely what is odd here what is different okay I'll give you a hint look at the high and low side fitting okay come on get with the answer answer okay if you haven't got the answer yet let me clue you in one step further look at what line and pipe the high and low side fitting are attached bingo the rest of you must have got it by now okay yes the low side fitting and the high side fitting are on this one joining line how is that possible if you remember some of the old vehicles with accumulators would have an orifice tube right here and they would have the high side here hit an orifice tube and then directly put a low side on the other side but there's no orifice tube system going on here so what we have here is a singular line with a heat exchanger if you look carefully you'll see the diameter here compared to the diameter of my finger back here that that's much bigger that's a heat exchanger so you would have a liquid line going to it it's out of camera view right now let me swing around so there is your liquid line heat exchanger coming from the condenser hot liquid gas coming in to the heat exchanger and then through a series of tubes and chambers and fins on the outside of the suction line are actually going all the way down and it comes back out right there and then feeds to the expansion valve so that's what this setup is high low the low is actually on the suction low side and the high is actually on the liquid um liquid high side suction low side and that air hammer is just getting to my ears um all right so getting ready to fill it up now i've uh pulled down far enough there i could live with 125 microns and let's see let's zero out the scale let me shut off the vacuum blow out my ears we're there we're there we're free okay 600 or 500 grams we are zero let me confirm that my scale is working i do this every time never skip this first procedure and always make sure it zeroes back out accuracy and small charges is pretty much a must okay let's charge so one two three go and we're off to the races there we go 100 grams hitting 200 Heading towards 300, 300 grams, going towards four. Let me start choking it off. Yeah. And heading towards five. Choke it down, choke it down. Come on, slow down. That oh, stop right there. And the rest will be in the tube. Okay, that's it. All cars should only take 30 to 60 seconds to recharge. If they're not, you're doing something wrong. Um, but use an accurate scale don't use cans definitely get your if you can to 500 and below it is very difficult sometimes especially if you don't have the right equipment uh that's it on this one on this 2020 cadillac ct5 and uh we'll be up in operation what do we have where is this compressor located on this one can i see it yes i can I can see it down there and it is clutchless. 
by looking at, is that it right there? I'm trying to get it. Well, trying to get you guys a view of what we have down there. There it is, right there. There's the pulley, there's the face, right there. I can't get you a body view because they already have it all together under here. Yeah, they got everything back on. This is all new underneath. So, all right, catch you on the next one, unless something unusual happens to this when I start it up.